It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Tennessee Titans and the Cleveland Browns. All that and more coming up next. Uh, the dog pound will be barking as EA Sports is pleased to join you from the always raucous Cleveland Brown Stadium in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Cleveland Browns. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Get strapped in, it's just about time to get the party started. And off we go from Cleveland. Taken at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They will be led out by their dual threat quarterback, the veteran from Clemson, it's Deshaun Watson. And he's exactly the man you want in control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball, not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available or when the pressure is about to get to him. First play from scrimmage, Watson going to throw it. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A shotgun snap for Watson. That is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. David Bell, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Watson now going to run the option right. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, he's certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Watson's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 23. 23 yards to pick up there. And 
this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. And that is taken in by Njoku. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Chubb. Trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal from the one. Watson now to throw. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Browns are on the board first here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down. They go again with Henry. Derrick Henry. Time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Again, it's Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, He's got to hit the jackpot there. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. 
second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A well-executed 22-yard game. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This offense on the march. Henry. Will score. Touchdown, Tennessee. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Nick, Nick Folk for the point the after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a six-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the passer. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Watson's throw complete there to Moore. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Watson. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. And they get him down to nine before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. On first and ten, Watson. This complete to David Bell. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. The Browns try to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. To the air yet again, Watson. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. They called the corner blitz, and Roger McCreary, he got in there and earned the sack. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half.
Watson on first down. This caught out left by Bell. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a yard. Here's Watson. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Again, it's Watson. To the sideline and incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. That close on third down, I think everybody probably expecting a run. Instead, they go to the air on third and short yardage. I realize this is a passing league, and they're liable to throw the ball at any down and distance. But that short, I do question the call. Run the football and pick it up. Hopkins' kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So it's fourth and one, they wind up taking the three. I'm not sure that that offensive unit, judging by the sideline, Charles was in 100% agreement with the decision. No, not at all. But the head coach has final call on this. We know that. But let's face it, offenses want to feel like, hey, you believe in us? Let us go for it? We'll see if that is a problem for them moving forward in this game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. And that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Levis now on first and ten. It's complete. Burks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. One final shot before the half. Here's Levis. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Browns were given a solid performance in that first half from their quarterback, Deshaun Watson. He had a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And not much happening on the return as they get this to about the 23. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline.
Second half begins with a run by Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 29, here's second and three. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Levis' throw is on target to Burks. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. A short throw taken in by Conquero. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Henry up the middle. And he's got it down to the 28. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Ball on the 28 yard line. Here's second down and seven. Off the option, here's Henry. Fights loose. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Holding offense. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Levis looking to throw. He's going to look deep end zone for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now here's Levis now on third and long. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that, but by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Play action now. Levis. Under pressure, and he'll go down. 26-yard line. Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. 
Well, this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. In motion is Phillips. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The folks, kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish, all tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. They'll start things off with a handoff to Chubb. There he goes, right side. Now he's loose at the 40. And finally brought down at the 31 yard line. 55 yards rushing for him now in just his first three carries. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game. And for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. But oftentimes, you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. A run with Chubb on first down, not going to be a good one. He won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. What can they come up with here? It's third and seven. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for Brown's touchdown. Nick Chubb, 27 yards. And the Browns have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. And here on third down, your number one goal, don't be a hero, just get the first down. But here, once he gets past the line of scrimmage, the field opens up for him, and he's able to take it right up the gut and into the end zone. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. Following 
the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So Levis and the Titans now trailing 17-10, a minute eight to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Levis to throw. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's Levis. That'll be complete to a Conquero. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Levis got his man, a conqueror, and he's going to get this inside the 30. All right, they picked up yardage, but they've got to get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. They've got one timeout left, want to save it. This is first and 10. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here's first down. Levis, he'll look to throw it. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. No timeouts, six seconds to play. Back to throw, Levis. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the game will continue for at least one more play. To not finish a game on a defensive penalty, that's why they get one more untimed attempt. One final try here for Will Levis. And it's caught. It's a touchdown with zeros on the clock. And an extra point will send us to OT. Yes, sir. That touchdown puts him in striking distance. And let me tell you something. Forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now. Have the momentum. Go ahead and get it done. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dime.
So it's the Browns who are going to get possession first here in overtime as the kick's away. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 99 yards rushing now for Chubb and a first down as well. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. They run again on first down, Chubb. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? In need of a third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle is made at the Titans 40. A game of 22. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Back to throw, Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, Watson. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Watson. Hopkins now for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Follow 
following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. First throw of overtime for Will Levis. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And how about that? In a game that's had just about everything, how's that for an answer? Remember, in the past, this game would be over already. But that's a huge play there to give him a fighting chance to go down and possibly tie this game. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Levis back to throw. And he gets this with the Burks. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Levis. Short. And oh, he caught it up. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very and now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After reviewing the play, a ruling on the field is converted. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. And Levis going back to the air. A short throw taken in by Okonkwo. Third and four. Levis sets up to throw here. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 13-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. On for the extra point is Folk.
And this one through the uprights and good. So that a seven play, 80 yard drive. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They begin this drive with Chubb. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 41. They read the offensive huddle. You're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Now we're a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And in that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Watson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Second and 10. They go up the middle with Chubb. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Third and nine here. Here's Watson. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and four. Levis to throw off play action. He's got Henry, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down carry for Henry. And shutting him off now up the field. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a gain of 17 yards. And the Titans first down.
Levis now on first and ten. And that one too wide and incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Is halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. A toss right to Henry. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Defensive well, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. The Browns drive about to get started. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. So the OT clock hit zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. Now second and three. Here's Chubb on the read option. Pushes him over. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. Up on his own man used to say, make sure you strap up tight if you're going to try and stop one of those big horses out there. As you just saw there, this guy does not go down easily. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Chubb will get the call running left. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's going to have a Browns first down as the tackle made it about the 43 yard line. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking in the point of attack. They got a nice little drive for him right here. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. They'll go left side on the ground with Chubb. A determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the field. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocks and abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. Chubb on the counter, down to about the 37. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, it created some nice space for him. 
from the 37. They work on second and six. Watson to throw. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 13-yard line. I'll give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. This to win it in overtime. And now another timeout here called by the Titans. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And the kick is good. And finally, this one is over. We thought it may never end. But that kick puts the exclamation mark on it. So that drive began at their own three. They wind up getting three out of it. And to me, the mentality to begin the drive, that was probably the key to everything. Let's just make sure we take care of the football, give ourselves some room, and maybe punt it away. Instead, it started at the three, and it ended with three points. But Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission